Alright, everybody, it's Pac Plaza, and welcome to the gardens, as it's referred to on its map. Now, the gardens, or as you may know, it's as getting a piece of foil. Trust me, it's the gardens, it's in the map. It's the thing is about this level. Um, I'm gonna go into the detail. It's just creepy. It's eerie feeling. It's uh, usually silent. And you remember it for not remembering much about it. It's just that level. And it has a good design. It's, it has a little random of design. It, 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 it's just. It, it, it's just. But nevertheless, we'll be playing through it. I like these just random beans, a little useless to pick up. But... Oh yeah, vines. We're the gardens after all, might as well put vines everywhere. We've already been outside in her biology class. This is the actual gardens. that jump. Nothing here. Alright, you see that block? I don't trust it. You see, the thing about that block is it doesn't always work. Okay. So don't use it. Just cheat your way through to the secret. This is the better way to do it. But I guess I'll show you what you're supposed to do. Like actual progression. The thing is, you're supposed to come up here, get that secret block off, and be able to climb up the bookcase to get your secret after the Lumos. Problem is, it doesn't always work. I've been messing up a lot today. I've been having multiple failed recordings. I said, screw it. Let's just break the game. Do not do it the way you're not supposed to be intended. Which works a whole heck of a lot more, I've decided. Anyways, let's progress. And oh yeah, oh yeah. Auto drink potion. Oh, much better. It feels so much better. Failed attempts. They oh jeez. I took two Rectusempras to put him on his back. Oh, go down there. I don't trust you. It's not actually a pit, he's just sitting down there. Let's step on that. What's with that one mean? Come over here, no. Hey, no. Victory. Wow. Ah, victory. On the gnome. You know, all of these secrets are feeling redundant. But we're gonna collect them all. It. Ooh. This. Oh, yeah, by the way, the music you're hearing right now. The eeriness of this entire level is reflected in that music. Alright, now as you see, there's stuff over here to the left and stuff over here to the right. And this room that I'm going to show you very fast. Very basic room, few beams in it. You see, we got one of the classic traditional flipendo blocks that came from the previous game that we haven't seen much of right here. And what this is supposed to do, we can take it, put it up against this wall, and take this path up to get to a certain area. But, we can go this direction also. And it's going to have the equal reward. Only this side is not only faster, but has a wizard card that the other side doesn't. So, this side's more important. So, basically, it's a battle mode. The idea is that you face off against certain enemies, push them into their pits. 
See, the next one's gonna be two sp uh, snails. And then we get our wizard card, making this side more important not only faster wise, but reward wise. Wizard card, bronze, might I add. Now, if we could drop down here, this is where we exited. Two chocolate frog, might I add. And he's gonna jump off. He can jump off the cliff. The other path would get us right here. It's a much longer path, as you can see. We kind of just rose this direction. But I'm not gonna drop down. That'd be redundant. You can play that path if you want yourself. Oh, creepiness. Ah, secrets with Lumos. Yeah, run against the chest backwardsness. Why is, why is there just a huge library that's very suspicious? Oh, gee. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I knew that was coming, but still. And now you're blocked off. Alright, so this part. Please note, you can literally just walk right through. But no, this is a huge secret area. So let's do it like they intended. Secret-like. First, we go up to this direction. We get a chest behind the gargoyle. Oh, nicely. Nice idea. Now, I'd like to note that they really put emphasis on this particular room of this entire dungeon. Yes, it's a dungeon. I refuse to accept it otherwise. For, like, as you can tell, this was the image used for this room. But anyways, what do you mean I didn't cast anything? Ooh, secret staircase. All right. Match them all up. We need to match them all up with red first. And it will lower a gate. Once the gate is lowered, it will not be affected, and each one is the exact same pattern. It's not like... Oh yeah, another gargoyle to help you get through. Gives you the exact same cutscene, even though you're right there. These aren't really like the Rick December challenge ones. They're not different. And they're not actually required. Which is a bit sad, but what are you going to do about it? It's a puzzle. It's not really a rewarding puzzle. That's the only wizard card you get from it. I think. Oh, well, you get a chocolate frog. So... Well, I don't know. What was up there? I don't remember. Uh, okay, this room. This room. There's tons of ectoplasm, you know, green pits. This is a very ghostly room. You see this chest I'm skipping over? You see the secret of Lumos right here that I'm skipping over? You see all these gargoyles? Alright, the idea for this room I think they were going for is a ghost infested room because every single chest in this area contains peeves. Peeves is everywhere. So every chest in this like hallway is infested with peeves, which is it's like a ghost infested hallway, which I guess is cool, but peeves everywhere is not. Is not, I tell you. Ah, oh, hey stacks. How I missed ye. You're gonna die, you know. Ooh. You see in this room, it's actually the roof over another room. If you want to take note, this is actually the room over where we need to end this level. Where Goyle is. And as you can see, we're not being very cons inconspicuous enough. We gotta be more uh, conspicuous. He'll never notice us. We're screaming spells, he will not notice us. 
which this really isn't a stealth mission as it is a mission. There's no stealth in this game, thank freaking goodness. But oh well. Uh huh. Alright, enough with your bean chewing. It's bad for your teeth. You die. Jesus, still going. Uh, looking tree bark. See, look at that. Look at that uh, level of comparison. I know the other path contains a few more secrets and some Wigan tree bark. Like Flubber or Mucus, I'm sorry. But it also contains Wigan tree bark. They're just handing out Wigan tree bark like candy. Or just the enemies. What happens when you make an enemy that gives you off a potion and great. Oh, jeez! I do believe these are the. Well, I'm not even gonna say that. I was gonna say those were the. This is the last level that spiky bushes are in. But that would probably be lying. I don't quite know. I don't remember or care. So it's not like I'm gonna win a trivia game. Plus, I don't think it is. Cut your heads from a distance. Yeah, I cut off your heads. I open the gate, and you land on the gate. Oh jeez, they hit me, it hit me, it hit me. Alright, secret right there. The Lumos. Take away the, like, the turtle. Get the chest. Like, what the? Why? Where is it now? Who are these people throwing stuff? Oh, okay. There. Look at the. Uh. All right, missile attack. I get. I need to make you hit. There, I got the missile attack to him. Ah, silver wizard card and beans galore. You know, there are tons of beans in this game. All right, let's just end this level. I swear this level goes on forever, and yet doesn't. It's just weird. Wait, did you fall? There he is, sleeping like a particularly ugly baby. Alright, so let's not wake up Goyle, so yell Alhamora. Yeah, yell it. Run around. Yell spells. Because bounce right next to him. And now... How do we take the piece of goil? Reach in there, put it down in there. Um. I need to take the bit of goil back to Hermione and Moaning Murky's bathroom. Sure, sure, why not? We're not ending this episode yet. We gotta end it on a key. Gotta end it on a certain key. What better key is there for a key than a Kia key? <laughs> Alright, let's go this way. Take a left. And you know what? This is where we're ending the episode. I've got the bit of goil. Well done, mate! Whoa. There you go. Rather you than me. Thanks. Oh. Harry! Ugh, that is disgusting! Are you okay, uh, Harry? Yeah.
I'm fine. Go down to the dungeons and see if you can get into the common room. Okay. Good luck, girl. Harry? <laughs> <laughs>